Oh man, I've just been sitting here for like a week or so, was it? Hopefully the takoyaki is still fresh. Wait, I have. Oh shit, that's right. I hope nothing leaked out of that and onto my suit here. Yeah. Well, let's hope. It's only been a week. I'm sure it won't have like gotten mold or anything on it by now. Hmm. Or maybe, maybe, uh, she should, maybe she should just be thanking us. That we're boys. This guy want to talk to me. She can wait. I need to understand. Do you so, want to play some Soji with me? I like Soji. A noble game of strategy. It is. It is Shogi. Shogi. Yeah. Just an old man looks nothing more than Shogi. Yeah, it, it's literally, I think, cardboard paint, cardboard cut out of Shogi. Subtitle <laughs> changes to man who likes nothing more than Shogi. Man who likes Shogi. Whenever I have time, I come here and sit waiting for someone to go into the game. Street Shogi player. God damn. We're gonna start snapping our fingers and waltzing down the street in leather jackets and just sit down to a game of shogi. That's how we Maybe. just sidetrack the fucking turf wars. Uh, yes. Mm, Maybe it's go for a game of shogi. Not now. We'll come back later. That's kind of like chess. Yes, yeah, yeah, so there's slightly different moves, but yes, for the most part, it's based on chess. Do you have any idea how snooker works? Nope. I've heard of it. I've never played it. Nor am I really interested in considering the name is really dumb. Why is this just... Oh, it just stops. Of course, that's why. Uh... Map? There we go. Map. Time to go home! I did not push a button to do that. Oh. You yeah, just walked right fun. up to it. I walked right into it. Alright, look. Watch my sick ears, guys. You know, it would be even better if he was doing this while still holding onto the takoyaki. <laughs> it's in this suit pocket. It's fine. No, but if he was, like, holding it in one hand, doing all these fancy kicks and spins while still holding onto it. Wait, 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 can I use it as a weapon? I'm gonna pull it out and smash it in his face. I don't think your girlfriend will like it very much. I mean, I don't think she's my girlfriend. You haven't really figured that out yet. Oh, there. No, no, no. She will fall in love with Majima, and then... Tachi Bono will come along and says, Hey, don't you mess with my sister like that, and then she'll be like, it's okay, brother, he bought me takoyaki. Oh, really? And then Bonnet will say, takoyaki? I can go for the takoyaki. Oh, for Christ. Is this how we win him over with takoyaki? Maybe. And then we will convince him to be less evil. Shh. Calm her down a little after she's been in here a week with no food. <laughs> oh, go take the day. That way, yeah. So, how many pieces is it? That's a good question. I have no idea. Because eight is the standard in Japan, I believe. And I assume it's eight. Then again, what was the standard in 1988? That's what we really need to know. Perhaps. Can't show the meeting. That would be an expensive thing to do. Yes. But we can't show them smoking. That's fine. Huh? Huh? How does she know we don't have an eye? Like I said, she's pretending uh, to be blind! We must have mentioned it at some point, I don't remember it. She's pretending to be blind!
That jacket, but she's blind. It's a music box. It plays a music box chime. Yeah, and she likes the sound. So it's less about it being cute, it's more about the sound she likes. Hmm. So the watch is broken. It doesn't work anymore. It used to. So at least this point, at this point, it's memento then. Maybe she has like five hairbands on the other arm and she wants her wrist to weigh the same. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you don't know what kind of OCD quirk she may have. Oh my god. What kind of quirk does she have? She's gonna start firing off lightning. <gasps> oh! Quirk! <laughs> Does she harden? Can she stop sparkling? <laughs> Can she stop sparkling? Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking naval laser boy. Well, like that guy who can communicate with animals, but doesn't talk communicate talk with boy. humans. And a talk boy. Ah. Uh. Some of them, like talking about the most potential, but the most just like thrown away power. Yes. Like, oh God. There's so much potential to that. The only downside is that he's in a fucking city. That's the worst part of it. That's why his power is not as good as it could possibly be. Yes, yes. He could communicate with rats. He could communicate with rats. He could communicate with birds. Obviously, he can communicate with insects if he can actually, like, force himself to do it. Yeah. Actually, that, that brings me to, like, a thought of, like, how smart are these animals and how much can they communicate back to him? And are there raccoons in Japan? I would assume on the outskirts, but not in the major cities. Hmm. Like Tokyo may not have a raccoon problem. I would say no. Hmm. Like on the outskirts of the city, maybe, but not in like the main center. Huh. I don't think they'd make it that far in and find them to make it stay at. Yes. Because Japan's pretty damn clean about things. At least nowadays, uh, anyway. But, like. Yeah, and then, you know, it would come into, like, the idea of how much more can those animals communicate back to. Because he could send in ants as reconnaissance to 
see what's going on inside a building. Yeah. And if they could come back and communicate to him what the hell is going on. But it, 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 come down, it comes down to, like, what's the intelligence level of these animals for him to work with? Hmm. <laughs> Also, there's a visitor girl who's just constantly naked. Yes, and she is adorable. My question is, when are they going to give her clothing that's also naked? That's also going to be visible. I just wish... Oh my god, I just had the best idea. But if there was a doujin hentai about her... That would be hilarious. You should try and find it, because I can guarantee there's a problem with this one. <laughs> Whether or not it's translated, I have no idea. Oh, that, that would be really hilarious. It would also... No. I was going to say, does that mean like anything she takes into her body is also invisible at that point? I assume that's the case. Because, like, if she was eating, we'd see her literally chewing the food. Yeah. Like, see the food in her mouth as she chews, and then she swallows. Mm -hmm. That would be disgusting. Yeah, so it applies to anything that enters her body. Bow to bow wow. So, question then. If she would tuck something under her armpit and, like, walk around with it, would it be hidden? Maybe if, like, she holds it tightly enough under her armpit. Like, like put it... Here's my point, like, it's small enough that it tucks into her armpit and it doesn't stick out anymore. Like, it's fully enclosed in that armpit. I assume at that point you could not see what was actually there. Yes, so she could be hiding it. She could assassinate people, hide the poison in her armpit, and then when nobody's looking, quickly throw it in the cup. Oh! Cabaret Club. Down here. Alright. Oh, I meant the location specifically. Okay. Master! Master, please! Please teach me, Master. I must know the secrets. Okay! Thank you, Master. Thank you for teaching me. We really need a wig shop in this game. Is he the manager? Club Sunshine. Uh, sounds kind of slutty. キャバクラ It's a good club. You should come in, Majima. うーん。わかった。案内 Hello! I'm Betty! There's the number one girl! It's just the manager in a wig. <laughs> we don't get a lot of business around here, so I'm everything! Just a manager in a shit wig and like fucking two tennis balls stuck in there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna See, now, now I'm disappointed that it's not what I imagined it to be. Top girl. But it's not very many other low key. girls. Give her an alcoholic beverage, and then she will turn wild. She's new. Clearly. 
Yes, I do partake in the alcohol. Do you? I'd like one alcohol, please. Uh, Can you put it on rocks? <laughs> I, I don't like salt. I like sweet. Oh my god. Oh, are we talking about business and transactions? Because that's what I do for a living. Business and transactions. <laughs> Only three people at the bar. I mean, at the club. <laughs> so the number one girl is the only girl. The five stars. Five stars. That sounds like a boy band. So, we need to beat up all five of the stars. You realize we're one of them, right? Oh! Are we gonna beat up ourselves? Yes! Punch yourself in the face until you pass out! Because literally the Grand is one of them. I can almost guarantee it. Because they said that we were like one of the best cabaret clubs in town. Majima, punch yourself in the face. But why? He has to take out the other four first. Then he punches himself in the face. Hello? Is, hello, Cabaret Club! <laughs> wait, wait. Is, is he like one of our people? Is he one of the true Yakuza? Because he's got a polka dotted outfit. He's all, he, look, he's got the blush on too. If he wipes his face a bit and puts on the rubber nose. He's just about pure. Wait, wait. Is he undercover right now? Is that why he has the little nose off the wig? Maybe. You better be careful. This guy's a cute We have to fight him. We better watch out. No, 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 no. The five, the five cabaret club stars are like the five planets. Remember? I don't. They say Club Mars, so I assume since we did see Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter. Yeah, yeah. Although I find it weird because they said the Grand earlier was one of the best car racing town, and what was it, the Oasis? I think it was the other one that was trying to steal our girls. One of we the best, but maybe not one of the five stars. Although I find it interesting that they call them stars and have them I would think a better option would be constellations. Hmm, maybe? But then Pluto would have to be a planet. Wait, did they make Pluto a planet again? I think it's still a dwarf planet. I think they made a subcategory. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's dwarf planet now. Yeah, I think they made a subcategory for it. So anything that's like Pluto's size, and I think, you know, give or take a few, what, a million, whatever. Kilometers? Whatever, whatever size they measure, they size. I don't really, I can't even think about that. Um, but yeah, so, somewhere between Mercury and Pluto is where that cutoff point is. Because people were upset when they were like, Ah oh, man, you jerk, Pluto into something that's not a planet anymore. And honestly, I felt the same way, but I wasn't gonna like raise a huge stink about it because it's kind of pointless. So, you know, Dwarf Planet got created as a subcategory. So, uh oh. <laughs> Threats against his daughter. 
Okay, Pluto is about 4,500 miles around. Okay, so... Huh. Yeah, because I know when they first did that, I think they started to consider it like an asteroid or something. Considering its gravitational pull and the fact that it's as round as it is, I think it's fair enough to call it a dwarf planet. Uh, planet yeah. Size and everything else. And then Amy is about 9,500 around. Amy? Mercury. It's a Sailor Moon joke. Ha ha. That would help if I actually remembered Sailor Moon well enough to remember their names. That, that's the only one I could remember off the top of my head. Also, isn't it Ami? I'm going by the American's pronunciation. Yeah, see, that's, again, not nice. I barely remember Sailor Moon other than just the designs. I do not remember the names of dialogue whatsoever. The only thing I remember is when it was on initially, I thought Sailor Mars was hot. Wait, let, let me just check. <laughs> She's very sweet. She's very uh, according, according to Karen, <laughs> she is a bit to some of the other girls. And yes, she is the cutest out of the main five. The curse continues. Oh, yes, yes, it does. Oh my God, the curse continues. Well, did it continue if it, if it boomerangs back around and it reminds me? That means we found close to an origin point, I'd say. It's time to see how far back this curse goes. Because when I first watched Evangelion, and ish years ago, I really liked Asuka as a character, so. She was super soon dairy, so... Super soon soon. It, literally, it's a matter of, let's dig back into your past of animes watched, and see where it all started. Was Winry soon dairy? Slightly. Not heavily, but slightly. Hmm. いや、そのエリアはすごく心配だったんだけど、実質的に街全体が。コントロールすることも可能かもしれない。え、でも、そんな野望のために我々が酷い目に遭うなんて納得がいきません。あいつらに屈することだけはしたくない。でも、旅か
俺としてもそのファイブスターとかいうやつらにこれ以上力をつけられても困るし何よりもまずそいつらのやり方が気に食わない Yeah, I don't think he's been involved for like 13 years. He did the last movie. He did both movies, actually. Was the last movie decent? It was in 20. I don't know, I haven't seen it. It was in 2015.、Mm. So, at the very least, he was qualified for that. I know he worked on and off. Like, for a couple of seasons. I think he worked the first three, went away from it, and then came back like a few seasons. From what I understood, he did the first five. Wanted, wanted to stop. Nickelodeon says, No, we have a cash cow on our hands. Let's keep milking this until it's dead. And then he's like, No, I'm out. Yeah, he left. I know he did come back at some point and then left again.、Ah. Hmm. Pretty sure, anyway. Yeah, that's, that's a fun way to end an episode, don't you think? Mm. Um, that's about the loss of a great animator. Um, 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 hold on, hold on. Desperately searching for some way to make this happier. Um, um, damn it, hold on, hold on. I don't know, this dialogue's only gonna last so long. I can use the sunshine's office as a hideout, nice. Okay. Um, So, so, um, Brandon, Brandon, how do you confuse a blonde? I know. Uh. Peach yourself green and throw forks at her. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that confuses anyone. Yeah. <laughs> It's just literally so insane. What is this? And with that, we can leave.、Yeah. Later!